हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू नीट मेंटर सो फाइनली आई एन एस सी टी हैज पब्लिश इस नोटिफिकेशन फॉर जुलाई सेशन काउंसिलिंग प्रोसेस द काउंसिलिंग शेड्यूल इज पब्लिश फॉर नेक्स्ट फ्यू राउंड्स ओके सो वील डिस्कस दैट इन डिटेल इन दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर पेड काउंसिलिंग गाइडेंस फॉर आई एन एस सी टी यू कैन गेट अवर गाइडेंस एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू कॉल एस ऑन नाइन थ्री वन नाइन वन टू एट सिक्स डबल सेवन और यू कैन सेंड एस व्हाट्सएप मैसेज एल्सो In case uh, you are interested to get some e-book, uh, which will uh, give you idea about INCT counselling, you can get e-book here. To know what uh, offer, what we offer, uh, we can visit Need Mentor website. Okay, and these are the packages you can avail. So this is the notification. Okay, where you can see uh, the first round schedule. Uh, including mock round so mock round is starting from 11th of uh, june and uh, you can do the choice filling for mock round up to 13th so what is mock round mock round is a kind of like uh, round which uh, gives you an idea how to do the choice filling if you do any mistake you can correct it in the first round okay so it's kind of a rehearsal okay and based on the mock round you don't get any seat you just get a mock reject so up to 13th tuesday you will do the choice filling the result will publish on 15th and then excess choice filling for the first round will be between 16 to 17 and on 23rd you can get the result of first round online acceptance you have to do for the allocated seat which you can do from 24 to 28th okay and reporting submission of the documents security deposit all those things you can do up to 28th so 28th is the final date when the round 1 is going to get completed now coming to second round second round is going to start from 7th of july 7th and we will also discuss like when these two counselings inct and neat pg will collide okay so round 2 is going to start from 7th of july and uh, online acceptance means so you don't uh, uh, you you get the seat and you have to do the online acceptance from 8 to 12 okay reporting will be done by 12 12 is the last date for round 2 28 june is the last date for round 1 12th of july is the last date for round 2 and then coming to open round which is also known as mock up round okay so tentative vacancies will be published for different uh, subjects branches after allotment in round 2 okay which will be published on 24th so there is a big gap between uh, completion of round 2 and beginning of open round approx uh, 12 days of time gap you have okay by the time of uh, open round starts you will have some notifications popped up uh, for neat pg 2023 online registration and the choice filling okay for the open round is going to start from 24th will be going on up to 27th and announcement of seat allocation for the open round will be on 11th so choice filling and uh, registration process is going to happen in online for uh, online mode for open round and uh, the day when you are going to accept the seat between 12th to 17th and 17th is the last report in date 17th of Ju 17th of august okay so by the time open round starts you will have notifications for hopefully you will have notification for neat pg and by the time the open round completes 27th 17th of august you will have some something going on practically because by the uh, 11th of august is the completion date of internship and during that period of time you will have uh, seat matrix of level and choice fill filling would be in progress hopefully okay so you will be able to judge uh, what you get in open round and accordingly what decision you should take to go with inct or wait for neat pg okay and for like uh, all such things uh, if you don't understand like how to do the choice filling which uh, ems is better for which branches okay these all things we can help you with and you can avail our paid service in case uh, 
you want like uh, services or guidance for INICT as well as NEET PG 2023 both because you are expecting some seats but you are not very sure about getting the seat from INICT you are more focused on NEET PG so let's try first INICT because it's going to complete uh, mostly before mostly before uh, NEET PG first round result comes open round will complete before NEET PG first re round result comes so you will have uh, the option to take all the three rounds and then go over to NEET PG okay so in order to attend the open round you have to deposit three lakhs of security deposit because after that you can't leave the seat up to round two you can leave the seat the allotted seat but in the open round you can't leave it if you leave you will be penalized by three lakhs the candidates would also uh, choose to join the seat up to open round and then keep doing the counseling for the NEET PG until last round and then see what is available to you and if you find that okay NEET PG's uh, seat is better than what you get from INICT then you can choose to leave the uh, INICT allotted seat in that case you will be paying 3 lakhs of penalty you are eligible to do NEET PG counseling in case you have uh, completed your INICT there is no correlation between these two that you got the seat from INICT then uh, you can't do a NEET PG but you should have the documents in your hand or else you have submitted the documents but you still want to continue with NEET PG counseling then you should be able to get the documents back from INICT uh, from EMS joined through counseling and uh, for that you need to pay penalty and you need to submit at the time of reporting uh, for the colleges through NEET PG okay so these sort of things uh, you need to keep in mind because both are going in parallel this year not in parallel but uh, in a sequence uh, because dates are nearby so you have to plan accordingly so that's all from my side thanks for watching have a nice day